All right, babe. So the other day you asked me what was my favorite game of all time. I did. And what did I say? Chrono Trigger. Yes. And then you showed it to me. <laughs> right. Yes. So. And I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing of it is, is that Chrono Trigger came out in the time of the uh, Super Nintendo. So the graphics are like pixelated. So they're not like modern 3D graphics or anything. And so as a game player back then, you would play the game, you would read the story, but then a lot of it was left up to your imagination as well. Mm -hmm. But one of the, the main things about Chrono Trigger that truly got the gamer like invested in the game, not only was it the compelling story, but it was the music. The music in that game is phenomenal. Okay. And I played the game back in the day, I beat it, but aside from the story and just the gameplay mechanic staying with me. But what really gripped me throughout the years was the music. Mm -hmm. The soundtrack for Chrono Trigger has been remixed so many times. There have been so many different iterations of it. There's jazz variations, all different types of variations of the, of the music. Okay. And I've heard them all. I've heard so many different remixes for, for this uh, soundtrack. But what I want you to check out today is a track called The Corridors of Time. Okay. I want to get your first thoughts and your reaction of it, good or bad, I don't okay. care, <laughs> of this song. All right. Now, I just want to kind of set the scene because we're not playing the game. Maybe one day we'll play the game. Okay. But this is at a point in the game where you go through a portal, a time portal, and you're transported back to a magical land of like a floating island. Okay. And it's like a floating island where a bunch of magical people exist. Okay. But they consider themselves um, enlightened. Mm. And so they don't mix with the peasants who oh. live below. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. That's how it was. So you're you're walking into this portal and this, this magical world just opens up to you. Okay. And that's all I'm going to say. All right. All right. So you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> and guys, I want you to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, of your thoughts and feelings of how it was when you first encountered the magical land of Zeal. Because that was like, it, it was like a monumental moment within the game. Okay. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's bring this up. And let's go.
So that was quarter of the time. Okay. What did you think? I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I was spending my time trying to figure out what instruments they were using. Mm-hmm. And I felt like the xylophone and the a keyboard, but, you know, when you change the function of the keyboard. Right, yeah. So it gave it an interesting sound to it mm-hmm. and gave it, like, different textures within, um, I guess, the soundtrack of it. I couldn't visualize, like, playing the game because you showed me the game, Mm -hmm. but the music sounds so much more ahead of the (laughs) the game, of the style of the game, you know? Because I'm seeing this image right here. That looks Mm -hmm. pretty cool. Right. Uh, It looks very modern, but when you showed me the game, I was like, what is this? Right. Very pixelated, but mm-hmm. you en- you said you enjoyed the game. Yeah, absolutely. I enjoyed this song. Um, I wanted, to, you know, I was thinking if somebody actually played this live, Yeah, that would be really cool. There, well, as I said, there's been a lot of variations of the song. Uh, so if people have done jazz renditions. They have played Ooh, it live with cool. the orchestra. Uh, it's a very popular song. And so... Um, what is it titled? Corridors of Time. Okay. And so you could literally go on YouTube and you could type in Corridors of Time. And you will see tons and tons of variations of the song. You know what would be cool? If somebody made a salsa version. (laughs) I'm pretty sure there's a salsa version out there. You know, I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, people have created many different variations of this song so um but yeah so as i said this is one of the greatest game songs of all time oh uh as you know chrono trigger has a cult like following what about and cowboy bebop i thought you said that one was like cowboy one bebop is a great soundtrack by but this is better yeah i would say this soundtrack is better than uh, uh yoko kano's work from Oof. cowboy bebop Oof. yeah so Oh, because yeah. I've heard, uh, like, the Cowboy Bebop, because you'll listen to it, like, mm-hmm. while you're just randomly doing stuff. Yeah, and but I'm like, whoa, what is this? I've listened to the soundtrack from this game, like, at least twice a year, ever, and, and maybe different parts of it at least once a month. Wow. The soundtrack is that good, especially wow. when you play the game. Now, naturally, you're not going to have that connection with it because you didn't play the game back in the day, so mm-hmm. you don't have any nostalgia or feelings behind it. Nope. But if or when you do, it will uh, captivate you. Okay. So maybe we could do more of these because I know we uh, did like a yeah we did Final Fantasy and about uh, uh, the dip our favorite. Oh yeah, yeah. We were talking about their favorite songs of all time, the songs that really are are close to our hearts. Well, it was from um, anime. Intros. Remember the Oh yeah, yeah, intros? we did the anime intro. And so we could do a version of that with this. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. So uh guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. As I said, uh I wanna know what you were feeling or what you were going through when you first heard this track when you first went went to the magical land of Zeal. I think Cowboy Bebop is better. The the music from that is better. Anyway, guys, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Take care. Peace. Why are you look at me like that? You tripping. You tripping. <laughs> yeah, so this is what Zeal looked like in the game. So when you first go into the portal and you get transported to this world, you're like, wow. Now, I mean, it doesn't look like much right now, but you got to think about it. At the time when... 16-bit was all that was out there. Yeah, well, that's what it was. It was 16-bit graphics. Super Nintendo. This was groundbreaking. And so when you seen it, you were like, wow, look at the colors. And it's a floating island. There's clouds down below. And there's water dripping down. Who knows where it's coming from or how it's getting replenished. But just going there for the first time and then interacting with the people there, was it was a really big experience yeah. for uh, people who were involved in the game. I think I like this version better. I like the sound of the acoustic guitar. Yeah, this. well, this is, you know, they. this is a more modern rendition of the song because, um, you know, it's not limited by the cartridge size of the Super Nintendo. So they're able to use real instruments. Makes me want to get an acoustic guitar. Yeah, you should. And then you can play this song. And then on your flute, you can play Frog's theme. 
Uh, yeah, I was supposed to learn that for you. Yeah, you were. <laughs> I, I looked at the sheet music, I was like... Oh, that's the part I would have to play. 